Welcome everyone once again to the uh, Brethren of the Morning Star. I'm your host, Magister Cankerworm. Today I'd like to begin the first video in a, in a series of videos outlining and meditating upon the uh, satanic virtues. Uh, so these are uh, essays that have been appearing on the blog for the past a oh, few months. But uh, so I'm hoping here to, to, to read them and have an audio format for people to listen to. There are various lists of virtues among the world's religions and philosophies. Stoicism recognizes four, wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. Confucianism has five constants, humaneness or benevolence, righteousness, propriety, knowledge, and integrity. Bushido, depending on the source being cited, recognizes between eight and twelve prime virtues. Perhaps most famously in the West, Christianity has seven. Chastity, temperance, charity, diligence, patience, kindness, and humility. The virtues of di diabolism are derived from the seven deadly sins of medieval Christianity. And, in the crudest sense, can be seen as an inversion of Christian values. I say crudest because the point of Diabolism's virtues is not to say one's behavior should always be the reverse of what Christianity teaches. Rather, this inversion is to shock the practitioner, who almost certainly has grown up in a culture that is derived from the Abrahamic worldview, into the realization that all extremes are open to them. Their personal law and the particular variables they face determine their course of action not a predetermined list of behaviors. To quote the old man of the mountain, nothing is true, everything is permitted. One critique of devil worship is that it is in some sense reacting to or dependent on Christianity, as if the ideal religion should exist in an intellectual and cultural vacuum. The Diabolist recognizes that all things are interconnected, and thus any quest for absolute purity, spiritual or otherwise, is doomed from the start. The devil and Christianity are intertwined. The seven infernal virtues recognizes that fact and proceeds accordingly. If others wish to pretend like they can or should abstract themselves from the past 2,000 years of history, that isn't our problem. The meditations that follow should be taken in that light. They are musings on the implications and application of satanic values, not commands. They are suggestions for what goods and states the Diabolist should hold in esteem and which they should disdain. It is up to the individual to apply them to their own life.